Over the years, we have seen many superstars lit off the football stage with an array of skills and world-class talents. But today, many of these famous names have gone under the radar. From the glories of top-flight football to living in oblivion across and beyond Europe's lower leagues. These are viral football superstars that suddenly disappeared, and where are they now? Starting off with one of most entertaining English footballers in a Manchester United jersey, Jesse Lingard, taking roots in the prestigious Manchester United Academy. Lingard broke into the Manchester United team midway into his career. After breaking into Mark Van Gaal's United in 2015, Lingard had a fantastic few years with the Red Devils. He was the life of the high-flying and young United squad that won the FA Cup, UEFA Europa League, and EFL Cup in the mid-2010s. A mix of injuries, mental health issues, and a bad run of form had Lingard lose his place in the revamped Ole Solskjaer squad featuring only three times in domestic games before his loan move to West Ham. Lingard hit a career high in Premier League goal contributions with nine goals and four assists in 16 games in West Ham colors. Despite finding a new home with the Hammers, the English returned to Old Trafford to fight for his place in his childhood club. However, after falling out of favor, the dream soon became a disaster as Lingard left United as a free agent in 2022. In the summer transfer window, Lingard opted for a move to Nottingham Forest on a year deal that culminated in his worst Premier League season yet, with two goals and two assists in 20 games. Despite offers from clubs like Newcastle, Fulham, and Saudi Arabian club al Etifak, the 31-year-old has rejected them all. He has since continued training with his personal trainer to stay fit in light of a potential move in the near future. Next is the Real Madrid ex-superstar who suddenly disappeared from mainstream football, James Rodriguez. The Colombian is arguably one of the most technically gifted South American talents ever. After making his professional debut at age 14, James quickly moved up the ranks of Argentina's top-flight football before his big move to Europe with Porto at 19. The teenager was instrumental in the club's three-peat of the Primera Liga and their 2011 UEFA Europa League success. While tallying 33 goal contributions in 65 appearances for the Portuguese Giants, James's impressive six-goal performance earned him the 2014 FIFA World Cup Golden Ball and his insane volley against Uruguay won the goal of the tournament and the 2014 FIFA Puskas Award, leading Colombia to their first-ever FIFA World Cup quarterfinal appearance. Another stellar season in Ligue 1 with Monaco saw James make a 63 million euro move to the Santiago Bernabeu on a six-year contract. In four of those years, James won two Champions League trophies and two La Liga trophies before spending the remaining two years on loan at Bayern Munich. Despite winning every German trophy possible, James was waved off the team before Carlos Ancelotti gave him another shot during his time with Everton. After some first few games of promise, the Colombian struggled to stay fit, a significant condition that has hampered his rise to superstar caliber during his career. A mix of lazy workout routines and unhealthy choices saw James miss half of the games throughout his career. Shocking news broke out in 2021 that the Colombian international was joining Al Rayyan in Qatar's first division. Less than a year into his contract, Al Rayyan terminated it by mutual consent, as James was unhappy with the footballing quality and requested a move back to Europe. This time with the Greek powerhouse, Olympiakos. After a spectacular start to his career in the Greece Super League, James struggled halfway into his time in Greece with long-term injuries that kept him out of the final three months of his contract. The 32-year-old took his talents back to Brazil in 2023, where he currently plays for Sao Paulo in the Brazilian Serie A, where he has scored a goal in five appearances and lifted the Copa do Brasil in his first season. Another player who tragically lost his magic early on in his career is the English midfielder Dele Alli. Prime Dele Alli had the potential to go down as an all-time great midfielder in the league. He could score and create and was the link in a revitalized Pochettino's Tottenham side. An impressive 10 goals and 9 assists in his debut Premier League season to be crowned the PFA Young Player of the Year award. 22 goals in the following season saw him retain the Young Player of the Year award, and received the call-up into England's national senior squad at age 19. After making it to the 2018 World Cup in Russia, the midfielder's career went downward in his final years with Tottenham. Despite warnings from Jose Mourinho about his lackadaisical attitude to his game, Dele Ali fell from the highs of top-flight football to end up with Everton in 2022. After zero goal contributions in 13 games for the Toffees, he moved on to the Turkish side, Besiktas, on a season-long loan. However, 
it was still the case of the same Dele Ali in a different country as he made just three league starts and was left out of the squad for the season because Besiktas manager Senol Gunas stated that he didn't deserve to play. And since returning to Everton, Dele Ali has worked on his fitness and has been spotted in training, raring to take the new Sean Dyke's side out of the relegation battle. Another former Premier League star turned flop is the Brazilian magician Felipe Coutinho. When you talk about raw talent and skill, Felipe Coutinho stands out as one of the best of his era after making out the same Brazilian youth squad with the likes of Neymar, the little magician had the potential for greatness. An early career of multiple loan moves saw Coutinho finally settle in Merseyside with Liverpool and had his best career years. A memorable six years of box office screamers and performances for Liverpool saw the Brazilian become the fifth most expensive footballer in history after a 120 million euro move to Barcelona in January 2018. Multiple injuries and a bad run of form limited him to nominal contributions in his two La Liga titles, leading to his departure on a year-long loan with Bayern Munich. 20 goal contributions and a treble winning season closed the chapter on his successful loan deal with Bayern. However, his return to fight for a place in the team was unsuccessful, as Barcelona gave up on the dream and sent him to Aston Villa at a cost of around 17 million euros in 2022. A bad run of form for Villa saw the acquisition of Unai Emery in 2023, who clearly stated that Coutinho would not be in his plans going forward. The Brazilian has since secured a season-long loan move to Al Duhail in Qatar's Super League, where he has contributed four goals in eight games as he works to get back to his best. Douglas Costa is another honorable mention on this list. The winger is the true representation of the flair and skill that Brazilians are popularly known for. After making it out of the Ukrainian league with Shakhtar Donetsk, Douglas Costa secured a move to Allianz Arena, where he constantly terrorized defenders with his wicked left foot to go along with three Bundesliga titles and a FIFA Club World Cup medal. Another move to Juventus saw the Brazilian add to his trophy collection with three consecutive Serie A titles and a Coppa Italia trophy. Several loan deals first sent Douglas Costa back home with Gremio before finally completing his move to LA Galaxy in Major League Soccer in 2023. Mario Balotelli Mario spent the 2006-2007 season with Inner's youth team. His performances were good enough for the youngster to make his senior debut the following season. Balotelli made 15 appearances for the club that season, scoring 7 goals. Head coach Roberto Mancini was pleased with Mario's performances. Since 2008, Portuguese Jose Mourinho has been Inter's head coach, and he is known for preferring more experienced players. Under Jose's guidance, Inter managed to win the treble. Balotelli had to compete with the likes of Samuel Eto'o, Goran Pandeyev, and Hernan Crespo for a place in the team. However, this did not stop Mario from winning the Golden Boy Award in 2010. In the summer of 2010, Balotelli joined Manchester City. The transfer cost 24 million pounds. The citizen's head coach at the time was Roberto Mancini, who gave Mario a ticket to the big time. In January 2013, Balotelli joined his favorite club, AC Milan. The transfer fee was 20 million euros. For the Rossoneri, the Italian was simply amazing. He played a total of 43 games, in which he scored 26 goals. I think the Italian was at his best. After that, he played for clubs such as Liverpool, Nice, Marseille, Brescia, and Monza, but never reached his former level. Now he is finishing his career with Adana Demirspor in Turkey. How many of these footballers do you think can still make a return to Europe before they finally hang their boots? Let us know your thoughts in the comments section.